Yo, what's up guys? It's Pi with the Crypto Pi, and today we're going to talk about how to trade on Ether Delta. And you know, it's not that hard, guys, as you think. All right, so first of all, you need to have a My Ether wallet with some either Ethereum or like tokens in there that you can sell on Ether Delta, right? So all we need to do is um, we log in, and this is a test wallet, guys. So you know. There's nothing to... <laughs> I normally never ever show your private keys, right guys? But you will need to put in your private key or your key store file. And then um, you look it up where it is on your uh, PC or wherever it is, right? Or, or USB. And um, yeah, you you type in your password and you log in. So let's unlock this in. Alright, so 0 0.02 Ethereum, right? That is what is on here. It's a, it's a test account, guys. It's not much, right? 10 bucks. So, let's go over to Ether Delta, shall we? So, on Ether Delta, you go to the top right and you select account, import account. You will need your private, your public key first. So, public key. And your public key you get from here, right? Public key is nothing more than your account address. Account address from your My Ether wallet. So, that's your Ethereum address. So, you will need your public key. And your private key. Then you imp. Here we go. 0 0.02. Now it's showing up, guys. You know, Ether Delta, guys. It's not always like working immediately, right? So I already transferred 0 0.01 here. So all you need to do, if we want to do another 0 0.01, is type in the amount here. And it might say there's not enough funds right now because it will need some gas, right? But we'll have to see. So let's just try. Let's just try. So we deposit. Oh, it works. Okay, so you will get an Ethereum transaction, right? You can click on it and you can see it happening. This is a uh, Ethereum transaction happening right now. So you're looking at it. Um, so whenever you put a order on Ether Delta or like send it around, it will make a transaction. All right. It's a decentralized exchange. You log in with your public key and your private key. And uh, we just wait for this pending to go to confirmation. Ethereum is rather fast, so it shouldn't take that long. So you see, this is a gold reward here, right? Well, where could I buy? Let's say I want to put a order at... Or, first of all, if I just want to um, buy, right? I can literally just... This is the buy books, this is the sell books. Let's say I want to buy. I can just buy this guy, right? I can just click here and click buy. Same thing if I had some gold reward, I could click here and I could sell on the bids or buy from the asks. Oh, success, see? So uh, I, I already saw it here, 0 0.02. So, um, but I can also put a order in the books. Let's say I want to buy at around uh, this price, just like him, right? So I can click on him, then here at the 10,000 GRX, you can double click or like do whatever. Get this price, so I copy paste this, control C. I go here. This is the price. And uh, let's say I want to buy one. One, right? One is 0 0.08. We can buy two, right? Maybe three. Nah, we can buy two. 2.5, 2.4. We can buy two point. Let's just buy two, all right? We'll put it at 2, and all you need to do is click buy, and it should, uh, it should pop up a message. You send an order to the order book, please wait for it to be processed. Alright, so, you know, the order is to the order book, guys. It's for this price, 81, uh, 2, uh, thousand right so yeah I basically would need to wait for that to come back there and then you will get GRX here and you will go to withdraw and you can withdraw it back to your wallet now a lot of people think like oh but don't I need to send anything anywhere no you logged into your public key and your private key so it's all there right so you just withdraw it back and it's back into your wallet so let's see is the order in the books yet nope 
it's not. It's not. Well, and if you come here on the top, you can look at all these markets, right? All of these. It doesn't matter. Let's look at good. I don't. I don't even know what. Good. What is good, guys? I don't know. This one looks like crap. I don't know. Let's go back to GRX. Um, but yeah, that's how it works, guys. So my order's in the book. You see, it's light blue. When it's light blue, that's your order. That's in the books, all right? So yeah, my order's there. I want to buy two. Remember? And uh, yeah, now basically I can just wait. But uh, we're we're not gonna wait, right? Uh, we'll take way too long. So it will it will show up here soon enough. And if you want to cancel, you can cancel a trade as well. But uh, it's it's not showing up there yet. So perhaps I need to refresh. Let's refresh. And when I see the trades, no, no, no trades. I don't know. Orders, it's in orders. Never mind, not in trades. In orders, so I can cancel this, right? Let's cancel it, and it will make another Ethereum transaction. You see that? So it just makes another Ethereum transaction. So in order to put orders, to cancel orders, it will make uh, transactions in order to put orders as well, etc. It uses Ethereum all the time, like only a tiny bit though. And it's also different than other exchanges because you put in how many blocks you want to be there. I put in 10,000 blocks, so it's 9,997 9, blocks left, right? So, yeah, that, that's how long it's left, guys. And we just wait. And this is pending. And uh, I will get my Ethereum back. Right now it's over here. It will go back here. Right? So... So, it's how simple it is. Well, actually, it, it will just come back here, but I can actually take it back. Like, when I to withdraw, I can take it back. I think you need to have more than 0 0.01 in order to even do an action, guys. So, make sure you have, you know, you guys have a lot more Ethereum than 0 0.01. Um, I take it at least, because... Yeah, you need a tiny bit to do these things, right? Because it, it puts up an order, so you need some fees taken care of. If you don't have fees, it cannot do anything. So perhaps that's why this is not going through. But uh, yeah, so just make sure you have some Ethereum on here. But all you do is like withdraw. Once you withdraw, it's back onto your wallet. You can just look on your My Ether wallet. It will be back on here. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that post notification button. If you got any questions at all, leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.